Hey, hey, happy day. It looks like I'm in the middle of a forest. Huh? The wind is blowing. You see those lemons in the tree behind me? They're green. Hey, soon we'll have lemonade out of a lemon. Kind of sounds like politician stuff. Hey, let me firstly now thank, thank all of these people in India. You know what? Uh, I'm old, I'm lonely, and thank you so much for calling me two or three times a day to check on my well being and ask me if my car warranty is okay and so on. It's so nice to be engaged each and every day on the telephone. Otherwise, it'd be so boring. Hey, hey, just saying. You know, sheriffs see in the U.S. today, every now and again, they get pushback to laws that the lawmakers make that they just won't enforce and that's going on in Oregon right now there's like uh, more than half a dozen so far and more coming apparently sheriffs saying we're not going to enforce those gun laws that's dumb but not only is it dumb it infringes on the second amendment and you just can't tell people that you can't have 11 bullets in a magazine you can only have 10 and what's up with that and these guys don't do bad things because they're good guys and they have licenses that pass background checks to get guns and now you're doing all this other stuff restrictions and so on so congratulations sheriffs and good for you canada you have people there now that are saying in government people saying hey white nationalism it's an active threat to the canadian armed forces wow our counterintelligence unit is under resourced and unable to proactively proactively <laughs> deal with this issue there's too many white people in the military really don't you just need warriors i mean Forget about all this diversity, and I've spoken about this before, and these liberals, they continue to say, you can't be white, you gotta be a different color, and you gotta kinda have a limp rest, you gotta, 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 diversity, include, blah, blah, blah. That's craziness, you want warriors in there, it doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter if you're straight or not, just get somebody in there that can win, kind of, sorta, hey. It's official when you get talking about liberals, because that's who's doing that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, you know, their wheels, they're just, all the wheels aren't on the bus. That's kind of it, what's going on. I mean, rah. then you got Mr. Musk. He put a poll out yesterday on Twitter that said, or asked, should Twitter reinstate former President Donald Trump? Uh, and this poll was posted at 7 p.m. Within a couple of hours, like things just lit up. Within a couple of hours, more than 10 million people responded. Wow, that's a lot of humanoids. Uh, airplane coming. We got lemons, we got airplanes, we got it all. In any event, back to this. Most of them said, yes, reinstate them, get them back. We like them, we want to listen up. That's kind of cool. Hey, when you have a poll and you get that kind of response, you kind of know you got a real vehicle there. Now, the uh, lawmakers in the White House, the Biden administration, you know, they're mad now at the conservatives because the conservatives are saying on the Republican side, of course, they're saying, we're going to go after, now that we control the House, we're going to go after the president for doing bad stuff with his son in China and other countries and making many millions of dollars and haha, ha, we're gonna go get him. And this is what the White House says. They come back and say, hey, come on, you guys. Um, this isn't nice. The top priority should be working with the president and uh, forget about all these theories and, and you shouldn't be attacking theories. I mean, that's stupid. You're wasting time and resources on political revenge. These are the same people that went after Trump every second of every day. They said before he was even sworn in, they said, we're gonna get him impeached, really? And now they're saying, don't start chasing things about that are bad about the president, because that's not nice. What you need to do is work with us because Americans want that. Of course they do, but maybe you should practice what you preach because you didn't do it, hey. God, God's not allowed in uh, schools. God's not allowed in a lot of places now. And it's kind of interesting. Here is a uh, school in Nova Scotia, of all places in Canada. And apparently it's true. We checked it and rechecked it. And I thought, really, this came out of Nova Scotia? Good for you. Raw, raw. What happened? 92 students. They marched into the auditorium. It was graduation, right? High school graduation. Students' parents had been fighting for many, many months aggressively with the uh, school board and teachers saying, we want a prayer. We want to pray, before the, thank God for all of the stuff that's going on here. And they said, no divine guidance, nothing will happen. They'd be in the school board and it was kind of bad. And so what happened, one person went up, one of the students went up to make a speech and we got up there, um, all 92 students, at the same time, sneezed, big sneeze. Then the one student that had the microphone said, God bless, <laughs> good stuff, hey, y'all come back, see ya.